Hello, today we are looking at section 2.1, which is dealing with analyzing loans. So we'll start by going over some definitions and then we'll look at a few things that are going to change with how we enter things into our Texas Instrument Calculators for our TVM solver. And then we'll jump into some example questions. So some definitions is Collateral is an asset that has held as security against for repayment of a loan. So this could be vehicle, it could be property. Essentially, it's something that you certify that you're willing to give up if you cannot pay back the loan. A mortgage is a loan usually for the purchase of real estate. So if you go to buy a house and require financing, you are going to end up taking out a mortgage. So we'll deal with loans similar to how we dealt with investments with a few small differences with how we enter it into our TVM solver. First off, our present value will be negative and will be how much we owe. Our PMT, so our payment, will be positive and our future value will be positive or zero. So if we're looking for paying off a loan entirely, it's going to be zero. If we have a question that asks until we owe a specific amount, then we'll have a positive future value. Okay. For example, you borrow $10,000 from a bank at a rate of 6% compounded monthly. You negotiate for regular loan payments of $300 per month. We want to figure out three different things. We want to figure out after how many months will you have paid off half the loan? After how many months will it be paid off entirely? And how much will we have paid in interest? So for the first two questions, we're actually solving for n, our number of payments. So first thing I'll do is write out the categories of things we enter in our TV M calculator on our uh, Texas Instrument calculator. So usually it was n, then i, percentage, then PV, then PMT, FV, and then we'll have payment at the end. Okay, so we don't know our N, so we won't fill that in yet. Our I, we are told was 6%. PV is how much we owe, so it is negative 10,000. Our payments, we're making payments of $300. Now, if we have paid, this first one is when we'll have paid off half the loan. If we paid off half the loan, we're still going to owe $5,000. So this would be the information that we would enter into our calculator. And then we will go into our apps, into finance, and then we will select our TVM underscore N, and that's going to give us N is equal to 19.1. Now, because it's monthly payments, that means it's going to be 19.1 months. So it will take 19.1 months to pay off the first half of the loan. We'll now look at how long it takes to pay it off entirely. So we'll write out everything that's going to go into our calculator again. So we're solving for N. Our interest rate is still 6%. We start out owing $10,000 with payments of 300. And in this case, because it's going to be paying off the loan entirely, our future value is going to be zero. And our payment will be at the end. So we'll once again, go into our apps, finance, select the fifth one down, which is our TVM N, and it's gonna give us 
n is equal to 36.6. And once again, that's going to be in months because our payments are every month. Now you'll notice that to pay the total, it's not going to be just double what it is for, to pay the first half. That's because in the first half, we have more interest being accumulated. And as we pay off more of the loan, we're having less interest being accumulated. So it's going to take less time for the second half to be paid off. Now to figure out how much we all have paid in interest, what we want to do is figure out how much we paid overall. So we had payments of $300. So our amount paid is going to be our payment amount. So $300 times our amount of payments, which is 36.6. And that gives us 10,966 dollars and 62 cents. Now to figure out our interest that we ended up paying, what we'll simply do is take the amount we paid and subtract how much the loan was worth. So we've got 10,966.62 minus 10,000. And that'll give us $966.62 of what was paid back was in interest. That's a sample. You want to borrow money at an interest rate of 4% compounded biannually. So compounded twice a year. However, at the end of five-year term, you want to pay no more than $10,000 was the most you can borrow. So you'll notice in this case, there's no mention of regular payments. So this means we are not going to be using our TVM solver. Instead, we're going to just be using our compound interest formula that we dealt with in the previous chapter. So if you remember for that, we have A is equal to P times one plus I over N to the power of NT. Okay, so first thing I would want to do is rearrange this formula to get our principal on its own because we essentially know everything else. We have our interest rate, we know our N value, we know our T. We just have to figure out our P. So I would divide both sides by 1 plus I over N to the N T. That gets our principal on its own, so we'll substitute in our value. So we've got 10,000 divided by one plus, 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04, divide by n, it's compounded by annually, so divide by two to the power of two times five. And that will give us our principal. So we'll go through and simplify this a bit. So that gives us 10,000 over 1.02 to the power of 10 is equal to P. We calculate that, that should give us the maximum that we can borrow with only having to pay $10,000 back is $8,203.48. That's a sample. You negotiate with a bank 
for a mortgage on a house. You need to pay a 10% down payment on a purchase price of $400,000. The bank offers an interest rate of 6% compounded monthly for a 20 year term. What are your monthly payments? So the very first thing I would do is figure out how much money we are actually borrowing because we're not actually borrowing the full 400,000 because essentially we're having to pay 10% first. So what I'll do is I'll multiply my 400,000 by 10%, which has a decimal of 0 0.1. So that's going to be $40,000 is our down payment. So we are essentially borrowing Four hundred thousand minus a down payment of forty thousand. So we're borrowing thirty six thousand dollars, or sorry, three hundred sixty thousand dollars. So what we would probably do in this case, because our mortgage has regular monthly payments, is put our information into a TVM solver. Okay, so we'll start filling out our information for this. So our N is our amount of payments or times it compounds. So it, that's gonna be our amount of years times how many times it compounds per year. So we have it compounding monthly. So that'd be 12 times a year times 20 years. So that is 240. Our I is six. Our present value is how much we're borrowing. So negative $360,000. Our payment is what we're going to be solving for. Future value is going to be zero. So we'll exit out of our TVM solver and then go apps, finance, and select the second one down, which is our TVM payment. And what it tells us is we would have payments of $2,579.15.